Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, MJ7NLK here uh, and today we're going to be talking uh, about and demonstrating how to tune uh, CB antenna. So what is SWR? which you've probably heard of and seen written on the front of your radio. Well, SWR is standing wave ratio. Uh, it is a mathematical expression of the non-uniformity of an electromagnetic field on a transmission line such as coaxial cable. Now that just sounds like a whole load of gobbledygook. So don't worry, this is not a maths lesson. Uh, it's, it's a way of measuring if your antenna is correctly tuned. OK, um, now this may not be 100 percent correct, and I'm sure there's some seriously clever radio boffins out there that will uh, debunk whatever I'm about to say. Um, but the way I look at it is that it's it's the amount of signal that's going down the coax uh, and is not able to be radiated by the aerial uh, and is effectively returning back up the coax uh, into the uh, equipment that's transmitting. I mean, that's the way that I sort of mentally think of SWR. So it's really important that you tune your aerial um, in uh, to, to make sure that your SWR is below a certain number. Um, so we're gonna have a look at what you need to do for that and we'll do a practical demonstration of it uh, shortly. So there are many different antennas that you can use um, for the mobile platform. You cannot put a 18-foot aerial on top of a car, uh, which is what a typical base station would have. Height is might. The taller, the higher the aerial, um, the, the more transmission distance you are going to get. Uh, on a motor vehicle, typically, you're going to use uh, a coil. Uh, and a whip aerial on the end of the coil. Um, this is not the one that we're using. Um, we're using something similar. We're using a Thunderpole Orbiter, a stainless steel aerial. Uh, always worth spending a little bit extra and getting a stainless steel aerial if you can so that they don't, uh, they don't rust. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have a look at the equipment that you need to tune the aerial, which is an SWR meter. Uh, and then we're gonna go out and tune the Orbiter um, mounted on a mag mount um, to a President Randy 3 handheld uh, in, in a vehicle. So let's have a look now at the equipment you need to tune the aerial. Okay, so let's take a look at the equipment um, that's going to be used. Um, as mentioned before, um, this is a coil um, and the whip antenna uh, fits into the coil there is uh, a grub screw here, uh, and this enables you to uh, lengthen or shorten the overall height of the whip antenna, and that is how you're going to adjust your SWR. Uh, if the aerial itself um, needs to be shortened uh, and you're already at its lowest point, the only option you have at that point is to actually cut the um, antenna uh, to be able to, to shorten it. But obviously once you've cut it, there's no going back. So you, you need to absolutely make sure um, before before you do that. Um, so this is just a, an old uh, aerial um, used for demonstration. Uh, we have a, to drag this one in, my desk has got metal in it and this, this is a, a seven inch mag mount, um, magnetic mount with a with a rubber boot on the bottom. These aren't expensive. This is a Thunderpole um, turbo mag mount with rubber boot. It's about 20 quid, 19 pound. Um, and the, the aerial will obviously screw into the, the top of that and sit on the roof of your car. Um, and what we've done is we've put a patch cable on the end of this um, and we have a, uh, a TNC connector because we're going to connect this up to the uh, President Randy. So it's going from a PL259 to a TNC connector. That will go into the top of the uh, Randy and then effectively we can use this uh, in the vehicle. So that's the, uh, the, the mag mount. Now check your vehicle. Check that uh, we've got a few vehicles um, 
I've got a Tesla as well and that's got a glass roof which uh, obviously is no good uh, and then I found out that the uh, Tesla is made of aluminium so uh, mag mounts won't stick to it at all um, so this will not be going anywhere near the Tesla um, we're going to be sticking it in a uh, Toyota uh, which has a metal roof and this will fit on but if you're going to buy a mag mount just make sure that you don't have a car made of aluminium and that you if, you, if the only place you've got to mount it is on the roof uh, that you don't have a heavily tinted glass roof which uh, um, yeah you, you didn't maybe realize the whole thing was made of glass so just check that before and then you can buy the appropriate mount there are some mounts you can buy which um, clip onto gutters and clip onto boots and stuff which uh, you know so you'll find something that fits for your vehicle but uh, you know you don't want to start drilling holes in uh, in expensive uh, expensive vehicles um, this is an SWR meter uh, these are incredibly cheap uh, I think this one was about £20. Um, so what you would typically do is you put it in the forward position. Um, you would connect this to your antenna. So on the back you have um, um, transmitter and antenna. So this will typically go to your device. And again, we've got the, that's not focusing very well. We've got the TNC connector on the end. So that will go into the handheld President Randy. This will go to the thunder pole. Uh, and then on the front, you would typically switch it to uh, forward, uh, key the mic, uh, get the, the get the needle to, to the set position using this dial. Uh, and once you've done that, uh, you switch it into uh, ref and then key and it will tell you what your SWR is. Um, you want anywhere between one and 1.5. Uh, anything above that uh, is not great. Uh, SWR uh, and if it's in the red band um, then over a prolonged period of time that could damage your equipment so definitely worthwhile um, for the sake of 20 pounds and a patch cable um, tuning your antenna okay uh, before we go out and about uh, there are some very simple rules that need to be followed when tuning antenna uh, never hold the antenna whilst transmitting. Um, we're talking about four watts here, so actually it probably wouldn't do you any harm at all. But uh, if you were pumping out uh, 100 watt plus, uh, you really don't want to be touching an antenna. That's rule number one. Uh, rule number two, you need to keep your wattage low whilst tuning. So ideal four watts three to four watts um, if you have a gain or, or, or a, a, a power dial on your CB radio uh, turn it right down you can use a power meter or power plus SWR meter to make sure that you're around the three or four watts uh, before you start measuring okay so you'll have to excuse the wind but we have mounted the mag mount on the roof um, the cable is going through the window so I'm just trying to get this lined up so we can see take my glasses off so we have the aerial antenna coming in the aerial antenna is going into the antenna socket on the back of the SWR meter and the SWR meter is going into the President Randy 3 so the, the CB radio is on channel 20 and you'll see that if I key this up we put this into FWD position and we key and you can adjust ever so slightly to get that to the set position then you switch to ref and the SWR on the antenna at present is about two and a half. So I've removed the antenna from the roof. It's so windy here that uh, it's, yeah, you, you can't hear me very well um, when up on the roof of the car. So I have removed the antenna. You'll see here that there are two grub screws um, if you loosen those you can heighten the antenna um, so we're gonna retest after heightening and uh, and see if that's improved if it hasn't we'll have to cut the whip down um, so let's let's hope it uh, needs lengthening
Okay, so you need to be able to test the SWR uh, on channel 40. Um, if I can just set this, it's rather difficult to do uh, the camera and this at the same time. But the SWR on channel 40 is just over two and a half. Uh, you then need to check the SWR on channel one. So we have to recalibrate again. Okay, a little too high. Okay, and that's just under two and a half. So that's telling me that um, if the SWR on channel 40 is higher than that on channel one, then your aerial's too long and need shortening and vice versa. Uh, on channel one, we have an SWR of about 1.6. And then if we switch to channel 40, we have an SWR of about 1.6, maybe 1.7. So we had to cut um, probably about an inch and a half, maybe even two inches off the aerial. We did it in pieces as we went along. Uh, and the SWR slowly came down. Um, channel 20, right in the middle. Let's uh, try that one. So channel 20, right in the middle. We have an SWR there of uh, about 1.6. So you can't be too afraid of having to cut um, quite a lot off the aerial if needed. If the channel 40 measurement is higher than the channel 1 measurement, then you need to take some off. Um, if it's the other way around, you need to raise the aerial up slightly. Uh, it's very windy here, so... So reading the instructions for SWR uh, that came with the SWR meter, it says 1.5 or below, excellent, your antenna is perfectly tuned. 1.5 to 2, your antenna is acceptably tuned and should work fine. SWR 2.0 to 3.0, and your SWR reading is slightly high. It shouldn't damage your radio, but you should try and tune your antenna to bring down your SWR reading. But it doesn't say how to do that. 3.0 or above, your antenna isn't tuned acceptably and could damage your radio. But we did manage to pick up some French and also I think some Italian uh, um, skip on the, on the CB um, using the antenna, um, which we captured some footage of. Um, uh, that was really um, quite good.
So as with all these things, uh, it's trial and error um, and uh, you learn as you go along. So hopefully we've helped in some way, shape or form, uh, buy yourself an SWR meter, um, have a go at tuning your antenna, um, use the little grub screws to try and lengthen or shorten your antenna or slightly cut it down if you need to. Um, and uh, let me know in the comments how you get on um, and if you've got any suggestions for what we could do uh, to improve the SWR of this particular antenna um, then please put that in the comments below um, love to hear from uh, from you on on that regards so please um, help out the channel um, subscribe uh, if if you if you if you would uh, and also uh, thumbs up or, or thumbs down if you didn't like the video um, and uh, yeah we'll catch you in the next one